must be on the floor. The bed is on my foot. Couldn't you give me some pea soup? It's right over there. The bed is on my foot. Maybe now we can be friends, huh? That's what do right. you say? Suck <laughs> it! Welcome back to DVL. She is one of Saturday Night Live's original cast members and has dazzled audiences throughout the decades with her hilarious characters and comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine Newman joins yes. us live. I hear you're in a closet. Thank is you that so right? much. You're in a closet right now? I am coming to you uh, from my professional recording studio in Century City known as my closet. <laughs> yes. It sounds great, though. It, it, does. Does. it sounds wonderful. It does. Okay, so, Lorraine, your former SNL castmate Dan Aykroyd recently said that he thinks hurtful comedy should get canceled altogether. And I, we were wondering what you thought about that take. I, I, I did not hear him say that. Um, I don't think that uh, mean comedy is funny, but it's all very subjective and what would constitute hurtful and mean to one person might not be so for someone else. True. If that's the most diplomatic answer <laughs> I can give. I mean, you know, um, there is something very juvenile about comedy and that can get to be hurtful, but if you understand that it is coming from a place of the bluntness of the adolescent, so to speak. Uh, you don't have to feel so bad about it. Smart. I mean, that's it, it, full disclosure, Loren. I actually just listened to a podcast of yours with uh, Dana Gould. Maybe uh, it was like an hour and a half. I listened to it a couple weeks ago. So I'm a big fan coming into this interview. So I just, uh, Thank you. I, I, and I'm glad I'm talking to you because I wanted to ask you about this. Uh, your new memoir, uh, May You Live in Interesting Times, uh, speaks about your experiences on SNL, on Saturday Night Live. Uh, but one thing I really wanted you to talk about was you said that your car was robbed before your audition and they stole all of your material. No. Like they, yeah, and you still had to go into the audition, no. so please, that, that's the, as somebody that's in entertainment, that's my worst fear. Uh, okay, well, actually, I did not know I was auditioning when Lauren first saw me at the Groundlings and came to see me a second time. That was my audition, unbeknownst to me. Wow. And then um, when I got there, he was the only person who knew my work. So he said it'd be a good idea to do a show for the writers, which was a very reasonable thing to ask. But I had all my written material and costumes in my car and the car was stolen. So uh, it was just, mm, you know, I want to say a you know what show, <laughs> but I don't know what the limitations are for. Appreciate you. That's about the it. Daily That's about the limit. Yeah, you, you met it. True pro. <laughs> yeah, but you made it. You're here. That's yes. awesome. Well, Lorraine, first I have to say, um, I am mildly obsessed with your daughter, Hannah. <laughs> I'm by mildly. Thank you. Um, so am I. Just majorly. I, what she brings to the screen is really, it's got to serve you to be so proud because there is so much of you in her. <laughs> so I just wanted to well, say. I, thank you. I'm so flattered. I, I don't see any of me in her. And I am just but I am blown away by her talent mm. because really this was something that she did not come to early. You know, she was an athlete and, and into broadcast journalism and then she found stand up and then, uh, you know, open mics, creating shows. She just did everything that she was supposed to do and got a really unbelievable result. Uh, and I'm so proud of her. Oh, I, th this moment. I love this moment. <laughs> well, what's it like hanging out with your former SNL co-star, Bill Murray? Oh, he's, you know, he's very unpredictable. But, you know, we've all mellowed uh, in our dotage. <laughs> and, um, you know, he'll come to town and call me and we'll go have dinner, you know, at a restaurant down the street from where I live that he likes a lot, uh, Carmine's. And, um, you know, there was a time when you took your life in your hands. But uh, those days are really over and it's just, it's wonderful. Hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
So um, I was going to say, I'm, 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 there are a lot of silences. So, no, 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 no. We're, still, we're still thinking about Carmine's yeah, in Chicago. We're, That's what, we're like, that was oh, okay, Carmine's, yeah. <laughs> um, so I've actually uh, been one of those very fortunate souls who met Bill Murray, but... Sam, our co-host, has a lifelong dream to meet him. So can you help us get him <laughs> on the show for her? Well, he is an enigma wrapped in a mystery. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so you either don't hear from him for a year and a half or you hear from him, from him twice in a month. Um, it's I wouldn't know how to tell you. Mm-hmm. That's fair. a great that's answer. A fair. That's a yeah, fair totally answer. That's an honest answer. <laughs> Let's talk about your new Netflix show, Ridley Jones. You voice an astronaut monkey named Peaches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, love, I would have loved to be there for the concept of this. So would you mind channeling Peaches to tell parents out there why their kids should be watching this show? Maybe a little Peaches for us. All right. Let me see. Um... <laughs> Well, you know, Peaches is an astronaut, but she's afraid of heights. Wow. So they deal with a lot of kids' fears in a very nice way. Relatable. <laughs> now, okay. that Century City but, VO booth is what? killing it, girl. Yeah. You're hired. Let me just say, like, I always try and get uh, VO auditions and try, and me I never too. get booked. Never and then once. when I saw that, I'm like, oh, there's somebody way better than me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let, let me just give you an idea of the competition out there. There was one day at my agency where I auditioned for the role of a five-year-old British girl, 17-year-old uh, Scottish boy, and an 80-year-old Russian woman. And when I was done, I said to the person recording me, how many people here can do that? Yes. And she said, five. Oh, oh yeah. And that's just our agency. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. you know. That's why I've it's, never heard uh, back. The never people who back. work in this are so good. Yeah. So that's good. unbelievable. Yeah. I've never you're heard. one of them, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Unbelievable she just transformation. Went right to character. Transformed in front of our eyes. Lorraine, thank you so much for chatting with us. It's been such an honor. And for everyone watching at home, please remember to get Lorraine's new book on Audible. And if you have kids, don't forget to check out Ridley Jones. It's out now on Netflix. It looks very good and sounds even better. We'll be right back. Thanks, Lorraine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.